Yeah, the Lakers minus LeBron put themselves in a position tonight to either get blown out on the road or produce an epic comeback. Lakers came in having won three straight, seeking their first four-game win streak of the year. And if you go back to 2019, AD and Giannis, four and four against one another, but Giannis usually has the edge individual scoring more than 10 points better. Again, LeBron chilling, watching from the bench. First quarter, Giannis squared up on AD, Gets him in the corner and just kind of bullies him to the rim for the dunk. And then right before the end of the first quarter, AD, a oh, little man. payback. Oh, payback. Lakers trailed by 16, though, after that first quarter. Second quarter, more Giannis. AD's checking him again. Leaves him. Giannis, easy two. First half double-double, third time this season Giannis has done that. The Bucks were up 58-42 at the break. We jump to the fourth quarter. Under three to play, Lakers down eight. They were down 19 at one point in this quarter. AD knocks down to three. It's a five-point game. Then Austin Reeves. LA's within two. After some free throws, it's tied one-on-one. -on -one. 18 seconds ago, D'Angelo Russell drives, blocked. Ball initially ruled off of Malik Beasley, but after it's reviewed, it was determined that Russell touched it. So the Bucks get it back. 2.6 to go. Chris Middleton looks for Giannis, but AD is there. Lakers able to call a timeout with 0.8 to go. I mean, that's a pretty decent look on the side out, but maybe a little pressure from AD caused the bad connection. Reeves for the win oh in and out but we go to overtime tied at one on one in the extra frame lakers down three ad from three how about that bounce from distance ties the game at 108 next possession for la spencer did witty he just dribbled up right into a three that gave the lakers their first lead of the night Less than 30 to go, Lakers up one now. Lillard drives, AD with the block. Giannis, loose ball. Swing it around, swing it around. Lillard in a corner for three. Boom, he had 27 points. The Bucks go up by two. Next possession for LA, seven seconds. D'Angelo Russell drives, gets fouled on the reach by Middleton. So two free throws for D'Lo. And he knocks him down. He had 29 points, 12 assists. We're tied again, 117 all. Three seconds remaining. Bucks give it to Dame. Again, AD is there at the rim. We're going to double overtime. Lakers down two. Reeves drives. Gets it to go. Tied again, 119. Less than a minute to go. We're still tied, 121. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Austin Reeves, a 29-point triple-double, 14 boards, 10 assists. Next, Bucks possession. Dane misses the three. Giannis rebound. Fouled on the putback attempt. His 21st rebound, he's sitting on 29 points. He missed the first free throw. He misses the second free throw. Reeves tracks down the rebound. And one of the best comebacks we've seen this year, the Lakers win it on the road, 128-124. AD went for 34-23. and 23. Darvin Ham. Definitely top five of the season, might be top three. Just dealt with a lot of adversity, adversity throughout the entirety of the game. Was able to pull ourselves together, stay focused, never gave up, and have a next play mentality, you know, for 48 minutes or however long it takes. Today, tonight it took 58 minutes. And so, um, huge, huge, huge challenge to try to, you know, overcome some of the things uh, that they threw at us. But again, we were able to do it together. And uh, everybody contributed. Everyone that stepped out there on the floor did something to help the team. Um, but that was a hell of a team win right there. In the first half, I thought we were the, by far the more aggressive team, the more physical team. Uh, third, fourth, and overtime, it was all them. They got every tough play. They made every tough play. And we didn't make a lot of them. So uh, that's something, again, we'll look at and get better. Anthony Davis, by the way, played 51 minutes and 52 seconds, the most minutes he's ever played in his career. Uh, and then he teamed with Austin Reeves for a little more history. They became the first duo in the NBA to have a 30-point, 20-rebound game and a 25-point triple-double in the same game wow. since the Hall of Famers. Jerry Lucas and Oscar Robertson did it in February of 1966 for the Cincinnati Royals.
where do we come up with this stuff? This stuff is unbelievable. We have some a research of this stuff. department, dude. <laughs> that they're we do. Good. Well they staffed. are really good, as are the Dubs, as you're about to see. They're trying to stay in the play in, Heat trying to avoid the play in, so the circumstances far more dire for Golden State. They're up by two at the half. Dre, three, no. Kaminga, tip. Curry from way downtown with no hesitation. Just the flick. Boom. He had 17, but Mike, it was the other splash brother that came to play. Clay Thompson had 28 highest scoring game in a month, and he's got the new normal, right? He's got his new role with the Warriors. He's accepted it so well. Kaminga in the corner. You see him there rising up. Last week was the week of the dunk across the NBA. How about middle of this week? We get it going again. The Warriors bench absolutely loving it. I think somebody needs to be resuscitated there. Does anybody know CPR? Dubs by double digits after three. No players harmed in the making of this highlight. In the fourth, Chris Paul in his 18th year with the rebound, flicking it out. Dre splitting the double team up in for two, and the Dubs up eight. Minute later, they're up nine. Curry right in Bam's face. Right in Bam's face, nothing he can do about it. And then Curry, look at this. He had six dimes. Look at this pass, Mike. Look at this pass. Oh, Kavon Looney. He had to catch that thing coming in hot. Dubs win 113-92. And this was a really big win because the Dubs are now a game up on Houston for the final play-in spot. But Houston is the hottest team in the NBA right now. They'll go for their 10th straight win Wednesday at OKC. A week later, look at this. Golden State travels to Houston. Dubs are 2-0 against the Rockets this season. Keep in mind, because if there's any sort of regular season tie, very important for the tie break. I mean, we're talking about the last available spot. Shea Gilgish, Alexander, and the Thunder taking on Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. Matchup between the two seed and the four seed currently coming into the evening. And the SGA getting after it. Thunder up 20. Less than six to go here in the third. Pelicans trying to make a comeback. Zion to CJ McCollum knocks down a three. He had 23 points, six boards, five assists. It's a 13 point deficit. Jose Alvarado, Zion to the rack. Pelicans cut the lead to two. 30 seconds remain in the third. SGA, the rebound. Looking for Chet Holmgren. So after all that, the Thunder still took a six-point lead into the fourth. We're less than eight to go. Pelicans are down two. Zion in transition. Always a scary thing. Gets that one to go. He had 29 points, 10 assists, five boards. We're tied at 99. Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, the third. Mm. Speaking of three, that's what he made. Pelicans lead it by three. Less than two to go. SGA takes care of that deficit real quick. Ties it at 112. Very next possession for OKC. Lou Dort to Josh Giddy. Back to Dort. Mm. Thunder back up. 30 seconds remaining. Three point game. Jalen Williams got two defenders. Between him and the basket, he didn't care. He had 26 and 5. SGA had 24, 8 and 5. And the Thunder get the win at home, 119, 112. And that was big for a couple of reasons because now OKC just a half game behind the Nuggets for the top seed in the West. And here's something to remember the Thunder own the head to head tiebreaker over Denver hmm. this season. As for the Pelicans, now they're a half game behind the Clippers for the fourth seed. And that's important because those top four seeds get home court advantage in the first round.